，阅读科技旅行，生活可以很大，对话设计学习，思考不嫌太多。这里是 iTunes 获奖播客《狗熊有话说》，一听就停不下来的哦。Hello， 您好，您正在收听的是《狗熊有话说》（Bear Talk）， 一个关于设计、科技、阅读与个人成长主题的中英双语播客。我是大狗熊 ，Bear， 一位生活在新西兰的用户体验设计师。这期节目呢，使用英文为默认语言。如果您感兴趣的话，请继续往下收听。如果您更想收听中文的节目，请保持关注“狗熊有话说”的播客更新，会有更多精彩的中文节目持续进行更新。本期节目呢，在大狗熊的另一档专门针对英文听众的频道 Bear Academy 首发。如果您对设计、职场、效率提升等主题的英文内容感兴趣，不妨订阅我的播客 Bear Academy， 或是关注我的 YouTube 频道 Bear Talk。播客呢，可以在苹果的 Podcasts 或是 Spotify 搜索订阅；视频呢，可以在 YouTube 搜索 Bear Talk 或者是 Bear Academy 就可以订阅了。我的 YouTube 频道有中文和英文两个账号，分别发布中文和英文不同的视频内容。如果您感兴趣的话，不妨两个账号同时关注。感谢您的收听，请继续。Hello and welcome to Bear Academy. This podcast is about technology design and productivity. I'm your host Bear. Recently, I just finished reading a book about small business, which I'm eagerly to share with you guys about the insights I've learned from this book. You might feel a little bit strange. Why I'm going to share a book about business in this design, technology, and po-、uh, productivity video channel? The reason is I've learned something that can easily adapt it to our day-to-day work and to improve our productivity, and also possibly can change our career in a better way. Let's get. Started. So the book I just finished reading, the name of it is "The E Myth Revisited: Why Most Small Business Don't Work and What to Do About It." The author is Michael Gieber. So this is the book review、um, section from Goodreads, which you can find. There are around. Two thousand reviews about this book, and most of them give the book about four stars. So basically, this book reveals a typical question when people started their own business, which is, "Why I'm getting busier and busier, and seems it doesn't work for me." And The book started with a very interesting story about a lady named Sarah. So Sarah, as a small business owner, she started a small shop to sell pie, homemade pies, every day. And at the beginning, she just listened to some of her friends' suggestion that. You made amazing pies. You should get started to do your own business, and she just go for it. But later, she found that she's falling into a trap, which is like a job that she can never quit. That she works like every day, around two twelve hours, even more, on her her job, and basically there's no break and.、Um, She need to take care of all the things which get her exhausted. So it's not what she imagined before. This is a typical scenario that most of us, if we started our small business, will get in face because 
When we started a business, it's probably because we are doing something really good. We are doing things from the technician perspective. So you are as the expert in the field. So you are good at cooking, or you are good at drawing, or you are good at designing, or you are good at talking to people. So you start you you start to think, yeah, why、well, I'm not. Just create a business and start my own business, but later you will find actually there are more things need to consider about, and you cannot concentrate on doing the things you love. For example, if you open a coffee shop, if you love to make coffee, you will open a coffee shop. You will spend a lot of time on buying in ingredients,、uh, talking to people, or um. Make something that you don't care about more, but don't have the full time focus on doing the things you love to do every day. This is because, as we said,、um, you are from the technician perspective. And if you're going to start your own business, which actually you need to start to think from all these things together. So you need to start from. Um, start a mindset as all these three persons are necessary for any business, no matter how big or small it is. So you need to think things from an entrepreneur's perspective, and from the technician, probably you are the most familiar. Uh, this is one of the most familiar perspectives you are、uh, you are、uh, you're seeing, and also you have a manager's perspective to consider about. Take coffee shop for example. You love making coffee, and while you're making coffee, you are a technician in that perspective. But you need to con- you need to consider what's the business direction and how can I get more customers and. Do I have any marketing strategy, or how can I get promote uh, get uh, get promotion for for my、uh, for my coffee or for my shop? So you need to th- start thinking from that perspective. And manager is something that can keep the business going. So it's about maintaining the business and make the right people work for the right job. So you need to start from different types of the thinking. Uh, you need to take different hat on your head, and then you can start to make the balance of your business. So sometimes we really struggle because we only think things from the technician perspective, which is not the、um, the truth for any small business. And the author Michael, he gave us a doable or duplicable way. That you can start to think about your business. So first,、uh, we we can we are probably very familiar with this successful business model,、uh, the franchise model,、uh, for example, McDonald's, Starbucks, or any other business. If you think about that, probably you start to think, yeah, that's not the business I'm going to run. I'm a content creator. I'm a YouTube video maker. I don't want to、uh, start a McDonald's franchise model—it's not my thing. Listen,、uh, listen to me first. So, here, Michael just introduced this model. Like, you can create your first shop, or if something that you're doing as a business, for example, if you're creating videos, you can start create your first video and then do it to make a. Like the first one is your prototype, and after you finish it, after you create this this one, you can try to document all the things, all the steps that you that was involved in this、uh, in this making process, and make a r- really clean and、um, easy understand understanding understandable steps of operations. For example, like making videos, you can create an ideation step, research step, prepare step, record step, edit, upload, you name it. And after that, if you get fam,、uh, if you finish the ideation, okay, check this one. 
So、um, this is your prototype. And if you feel okay, this is success. This is、um, uh, it works, right? And then you just duplicate this one as uh, um, something could re- repeat in other market or in other industry. So running a business is quite similar as this, but this time he's mentioning about、um, McDonald's. So yeah, we can start to learn things from it. And the other, another great perspective, an, another great insight I've got from this book is you should work on your business, not in your business. So sometimes we、we'll、really struggle because there are endless things to do while you are running your own business, and it seems that you are too close to the running track. You cannot take a Step back and see the whole picture, but、um, by creating this franchise prototype, this system, and then you can start to think, what are the things that is missing on my business, and how can I fix it? So just take a step back, and you start to think, what is the system is. For running your business, and is there something that you can replace or something that you can, you can,、uh, you can fix? So probably let me give an example of this. So for example, this is pretty much quite、uh, typical scenario when people work with、uh, with other in a small business. Like、uh, if I'm John and I started to work for my YouTube channel. For a while, and then I find、um, I really enjoy、uh, chatting and making video with my friend、uh, Sarah. Okay, this is another Sarah. So、uh, I, I really like to hang out with her. And then you feel right. She's good. She's really creative. And probably I should create something for her that we can work together. And they care about her feelings and things like that. So you know her personality. And one day, you are working together. Great, everything、um, uh, works together. But then, a few days later or a few weeks later, Sarah said she needs to quit.、Uh, she doesn't、uh, want to work with this、uh, with you on this job to, anymore. She has her own stuff to work on. And then you just feel your heart is broke, okay? And、um, uh, you cannot find another person to replace Sarah. So this is something that would typically happen: that you you make job or you develop your business based on other people's personality. So the right way will be to create a structure at first, and to think about the strategy at first, and then.、Um, You can create those roles, those roles with responsibility. For example, if you are going to create a video, you probably need a video con-、uh, content、um, creator. Like, talk、uh, who who are the people actually talking to the camera, right? And probably you need a marketing guy who can promote the video to other channels. And probably you need、uh, other roles. And at this stage. It's just you, right? It's just you do the whole job, but maybe in the future you can find someone can actually do the job. No,、uh, sorry,、uh, correct. Probably you'll find you have more time and resource, and you don't have enough time to do the, all the things by your own. And also, you have enough money. You have the right resource to. To to hire someone to get the job done, so possibly you can hire someone to help you do the video editing or do the video marketing things like that. So this is something you start to think from the structural level, not just from other people's personality. So you can replace people's position with the right candidate. So if people change, that's okay. Your business doesn't change, so this is something I've learned really helpful for me that can help on my、um, many personal projects as well. If something 
you can replace, or something you need to think with a system perspective, and then you started to work on the business, not just in the business. So that's the reason I want to recommend you this book, The E Myth, by Michael Gerber. Hope you like this one. Short and sweet book review without preparing much. And、um, sorry about my shaking camera. And if you like this one, please write a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye. 您正在收听的是狗熊有话说 Bear Talk。一个关于设计、科技、阅读与个人成长的中英双语播客，您的推荐与分享是我继续制作节目的最佳动力。请您在收听节目的平台呢，通过评论留下您的观点，或者是给节目点赞。如果碰到您喜欢的某期节目，请在自己熟悉的社交网络发布分享，或者是向朋友推荐。我的网站呢是 bear talking com。这期播客的所有详细信息呢，可以在 voice 点 bear talking 点 com 进行查询。也希望您能订阅我的 YouTube 频道，或者是微信公众号，搜索“狗熊有话说”五个汉字，“狗熊有话说”即可以找到。谢谢。